Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going getting my hair done so I thought it'd be a good idea to bring you along with me. I haven't done anything really drastic to my hair in a pretty long time. I think it's been over two years since I've dyed it or done anything really other than cutting it. So today I've decided to get some highlights um, which I know isn't that dramatic and it's not that drastic but it is a big step for me who's kind of been quite boring with her hair over the last while now. This is the current situation so it is super long at the moment. I think it's the longest it's ever been and this is just my complete natural colour. This is like two days old I think and it's just been in a bun for the last 24 hours so that's why it's so frizzy but yeah I'm going to get some highlights in it today. Um, I'm not like exactly sure yet I need to kind of talk to the hairdresser but yeah that's the plan and I'm going to get it cut. So I said I'd bring you along with me and show you the hair transformation and yeah why not sure. I am also going to get my nails done and I always get asked about my nails so I might bring you along to that also and show you how I do it and what colours I use and um, you know things like that and where I go in New York because it's really hard to find somewhere good in New York and um, when I first moved here it took me ages so yeah it's a bit of a pamper day um, it's Friday and I just finished work I finished a little early actually today because Monday was a bank holiday but we worked so I was able to finish a bit early today so yeah I just wanted to get these bits done we're going traveling next week so kind of preparation for that so yeah I'll bring you along and I hope you enjoy Okay, I'm finished off my nails now guys and I'm really happy with them, they're nice. They're just like a summery kind of pinky colour and now I'm en route to the hairdressers. So I'm going to Scotch Aveda, which is a salon I go to all the time here. I've gone there about three times already and they always do such a good job on my cut so I'm trusting them with the colour today. I'm always very nervous about getting colour in my hair but I think it should be okay. And yeah, I'm excited so just on my way now I'm running a tiny bit late as always but I'll be there very soon hopefully. <laughs> We're finished guys. This is the final look. Lovely Brittany did a great job. We just basically, we just enhanced kind of the lighter tones, didn't we? Yeah, so there was like a few lighter tones going through my hair already, I think just from the sun. And Brittany just decided to kind of enhance them with, you just lightened them, you didn't even use bleach, did you? No bleach, we used a color to just kind of enhance the natural highlights that would come through from the sun. And what I did was I took subsections off of it, back combed it so she's a little bit off the root area, and that way she could have like a nice lived in look. So all yeah. the nice ribboning effect comes from that technique and that nice soft color, there'll be no fading, there'll be no um, lifting to a natural like, weird color, mm -hmm. they'll be very natural and beautiful. Yeah, it's like perfect, so I don't want any maintenance, I'm very lazy and there was no bleach, so hardly no damage. Zero yeah, so Zero great. damage, zero maintenance. Thanks so much, Brittany. So, my pleasure. <laughs> Okay, I'm back to where I started and I'm just in the door and I am so happy with it guys. It is like a pretty subtle change, like as I said, it's not very dramatic. But I said I would kind of take baby steps and Brittany said that we can definitely do more when I go back next time and maybe even make them a little bit lighter. Or she also said we can maybe darken the root a bit so that you'd be able to see more of a contrast. But right now I'm really happy with them. Like it's kind of just what I wanted just to ease myself into it. And I'm really happy with the cut. Scotch Ayurveda are definitely my favorite cut in the city. They just do such a good job at the blunt cut, which I love personally. I know everyone doesn't, but I really like that and it just feels really healthy. And yeah, the products they use as well made my hair feel super soft. So, so happy with it. All my makeup's gone off now. I must actually fix it because we are going to a hockey game. We just booked a hockey game last minute. Today has been so busy and rushed, but we said, why not? We'll go. Uh, anyway, very happy with the hair. As she said, she just lightened bits of it at the front here and she didn't really have to do anything damaging or, you know, intense. It was only on my hair for 20 minutes, literally in and out in like two hours. 
which is the best part for me I think because I'm so impatient when it comes to getting my nails and hair done like you think that you'd love it but I get so fidgety and kind of I don't know bored I guess so that's why I really liked that experience and yeah I'm gonna maybe put some curls in it now either tonight or tomorrow just to see how that looks right now it just kind of has a bit of texture going through the front of it which I like but I think it'll be really nice when I have like my big curls in. I might actually show you as well how I curl my hair in this video Um, it's nothing crazy I just use a normal one but I'll just show you the techniques that I use and how I make it last as long as possible so yeah right now I need to go get ready for the hockey game okay guys I'm back again it's the next day now the next morning actually um, I didn't end up curling my hair last night because we were too much in a rush but it's Saturday now and I'm going out tonight so I'm gonna curl my hair for that and see how it looks it's still really good today after even sleeping on it like the blow dry lasts so well I wish I had the patience to blow dry my hair all the time yeah, I'm still really happy with it and I can't wait to see it with like big curls so I'm gonna curl it now and I'm gonna show you how I curl my hair to be honest like there's no trick to it really I've been doing it the same way I've always done it since I was like 12 I'm not a professional hairstylist certainly but some of you will hopefully find it helpful and I'll just show you like one or two things that I might do differently to other people I'm gonna be using this curler from Sultra um, I actually got this about a year ago because the curler I was using for years about five years just broke down on me one day and Erica had this spare one so I took it and it's done the job to be honest so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead now and show you how I do it so I usually start with the left side of my head but to be honest it could vary but usually the left side and with this side I curl it away from my face so for instance say I'll just take this piece here I get the curler and I go on top of the hair and I bring it around so bringing the hair away from the face so yeah, I've actually only started doing this in the last six months or so. I used to always do it the other way and then by accident one day I just did it this way and it looked so much better. It just turns the hair kind of away from the face and it just gives it a bit more bounce. So I usually just leave it on for like 10 seconds or whatever and then I leave it down. And as you can see, it just turns the hair away from the face and then I usually just break up the curl with my hands after and then at the end I would brush it all out. But anyway, then I just continue to do all the hair on this side. I'm not really particular with the size I take but I do make sure that I'm able to wrap the hair around in a strand. So say for instance, making sure all the hair is touching the wand. I don't like twisting the hair before I put it on if that makes more sense and just leave that down again and as you can see it just turns it away and then I pull that apart with my hands again and then I just continue to do the rest of the side I usually do one side at a time and then I just do all the hairspray at the end I know some people like to hairspray each curl after they do it but no I just do it all at the end I try and do it as quick as possible and as you can see this curler actually just gives a really nice curl it's not too big not too small it's kind of like a medium size I like it when they're medium the small curlers just don't suit my hair and the big curlers don't last in my hair because it is quite heavy so I find these do the best job and yeah I'm just continuing to turn the hair away from the face on this side I'm gonna keep going <laughs> If you're wondering as well, I have a mirror behind the camera. That's where I'm looking if you if I'm not looking at the camera. I also have tan on today guys in case you're wondering why I look so different. I feel like a new woman. I put tan on yesterday and I literally like love it. I want to wear tan all the time now. I can see why people do it all the time. I feel so much better. I know that's like a superficial thing to say, but Jesus, it really does do wonders for you. Like it just makes you feel so much better no matter what you're wearing, no matter what makeup you have on. Just feel good. So yeah, I'm gonna start wearing tan more often. <laughs> so I'll just show you once more again on this side, just in case I went to it too fast the first time. So you grab a piece of hair, about this much hair is pretty good, I think. Make sure the hair, like all the strands are straight out and when you're wrapping it around, it's almost covering the barrel. So like this, say for instance, and then you're turning it away from your face. So around the barrel, is this anti-clockwise, clockwise? <laughs> Not too sure. Okay, I have that side fully curled now and I love the way you can kind of see the highlights a little bit clearer because the hair is kind of more textured and curly obviously. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy with the way this has turned out. Okay, moving on to the other side. I again grab the same bit of hair. I keep it nice and straight, but this time I bring it over the barrel. So rather than bringing it underneath on the other side, I bring it over. I just find by doing this, it sits better on this side. I'm not 100% sure why they're different, but this is just what works best for me. So on the right side, I bring it over. On the left side, I bring it under. Um, it might be different for you. It may have something to do with my parting. I'm not 100% sure. I just find it works better for me. Um, 
and that brings the hair away from the face on this side. So again, you kind of have the same situation, but it's just a different technique. So again, I bring the hair on top of the barrel, and yeah, just the direction of the curl is really important, I find, for the kind of look you're going for. I just feel like this gives me more 70s kind of vibes, and when I do a middle parting, I just feel it works better. So yeah, this side I bring it over, the other side I bring it under, and both sides then look the same. They both look turned out and away from the face. And that's kind of what I'm going for. So again, I just continue to do that whole side the exact same. Making sure I get every single piece of hair. Um, I think the key to having your hair last is really get every single piece of it curled. Like, you're better off to put the time in, I find. Like, if I'm in a rush, say for instance, and I only put a few curls in either side, they never last for me. But if I take the time to actually curl my hair fully and make sure every single hair is curly, I find that it lasts me two days, even sleeping on it. So yeah, you're better off to just put a bit of effort into it. So once more, again, on this side, I'm bringing the hair over the curler and just wrapping it around. My hair is a little long for this curler, so I never get to wrap the full length of the hair around, but it usually looks okay. I just bring it down a bit further if I have to. And yeah, I just leave that thin again there for about 10 seconds, the same as the other side. And I like to drop it down straight. And you can see the nice curl I get. Okay, I'm completely finished curling all the hair now. And as you can see, this is the result I get from that particular curler. And now I actually like to brush the curls through, which is totally optional. Some people do not like to do this because it does kind of make the life of your curls a little bit shorter. I find personally it doesn't affect me too much, but I know my sister Erica, she finds when she brushes hers through, they don't last as well. This is just something I personally like to do and I like how it makes the curls look. I don't like them being really ringlety like this. I rather like a soft kind of Hollywood curl, if that makes sense. So I just get my little tangle teaser here. This is a godsend if you have thick, long hair that knots easily. I absolutely adore this. I would not be able to live without it. And basically I just brush them all through. So starting on the side I did first, and then I do the other side very gently, like I don't be pulling it through for ages, but as you can see there, it just tames the curls a little bit and makes them a little softer rather than that really curly look I had. And then I get my hairspray. So today I'm gonna to be using the L'Oreal Elanette hairspray simply because I'm out of my favorite one, which is the, I'm not even gonna try and say it because it's that really hard name that starts with S, but I'll insert a picture here now. That particular one is amazing. I'm gonna link it in the description box below as well because you need to check it out if you don't have it. It's pretty affordable and it is the best hairspray I have ever, ever, ever used. This one is okay as well, but it's not as good as that one, but it's the only one I have right now, so I'm just gonna spray that all over. Sometimes I forget to spray them. I do, not gonna lie. But when I'm doing them for like a night out or an occasion, I usually remember. Um, and yeah, and that is it, guys. That is exactly how I do it. It literally takes me 10 to 15 minutes. Very easy look, but as you can see, you get a really nice finish. I love the way it's showing the color coming through the hair at the front here. As I said, I only got the highlights at the very front of my face, so that's why I love having the volume here to show them off. Yeah, I really hope that you found that helpful. I know it's super simple. I don't have any big secrets, but I do hope that you picked up at least maybe one or two tips or tricks. And yeah, I'm really happy with the finishers. I much prefer the hair in this style. Um, I'm so happy with the color now. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the video here. I think I've rambled on enough now. I really hope that you enjoyed it and definitely comment below and let me know what you think of the hair I know it's not a huge transformation, but it's a step in the right direction And I can definitely see myself maybe lightening it more before the summer So yeah, I'm excited to kind of play around with this new style and see where it takes me I'm gonna link the salon that I went to down below just in case you're interested in going there It was not sponsored as well by the way They did give me the service in exchange for an Instagram But this video was not in any way sponsored just in case you're wondering um, But anyway, I'm gonna link it below because it's a great salon and I actually really recommend it genuinely and I'm also going to link Brittany's Instagram because she's really amazing at what she does and I'm so glad to have finally found someone in the city that I trust and that understands what I want so yeah I'm definitely going to be going back to her and I'll also link the curler that I use I said I link the hairspray as well that I recommend you try out and yeah again hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye Thank you.